told you you so extra But I know I'm the same yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma Give me what I need instead of the drama Cause when it pop off it's like oh my All good all day but the night We be going so hard on the flip side So tell me we'll be on a date babe I could keep that same energy When you go low I go low too You'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane Either way, baby, we could go all night We could do it all night We could go all night Man lives lives like coming to you, but man, dang one. Anyway, uh, let me prop you up, and then we can have a chat. Okay, okay. So we're gonna get it. Today was a rather long day, rather long, rather heavy. Went to work, came back, worked some more. Uh, had some clients, coaching. Do you know what? I, I'm so grateful. I'm not even gonna lie. I am so grateful that I have the opportunity to be of service to people who value my opinion. And value the things that I have to say when it comes to giving advice. Ooh, maybe focus on me. Mm. Uh, as I was saying, I think uh, you know I'm 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 really really grateful that I can provide a service to to people who trust my opinion, to people who trust what I have to say and how I can advise and uh, helping someone navigate through different difficult transitions in their lives and all of that. I find this part of my life extremely fulfilling. And uh, I, I absolutely love it. I am not going to lie, it is quite strenuous. That's why uh, therapy, for me, is really, really important uh, because it, it, it takes a huge mental toll on you when you are listening um, to other people share the things that they are struggling with, the things that they are going through, uh, and they look to you to provide support, to provide some sort of counsel, um with 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 what they are going through you know you're not telling them what to do but you're providing a little bit a little source of support and uh counsel and i cannot tell you how happy i am that i get to do this i'm happy that i actually get to do this day is this week is actually gonna be a big week um and the weekend is the one that's going to be big because because this is going to be traveling okay and i'm taking you guys with me so it's tuesday today the travel plans are happening on friday and it is something i am so excited to do it's something that i always wanted to do from varsity days and never really got the opportunity to do it until now and it is courtesy of the ultimate fave. So I'll be traveling with my sister this weekend, and 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 uh, I'm I'm really really excited to share all of that with you. Tonight, my sister and I got invited to um, a food tasting, menu tasting kind of thing at Cream Cream South Africa, the restaurant in Mall of Africa. <coughs> And I, I am excited. I'm really, really excited. I mean, hello, 
gonna go taste some good food um just have a nice evening out with my sister definitely sounds really really exciting brows looking kind of crazy be like that sometimes i actually need to just go and uh touch them up before i leave so i'm really really excited for that because i can tell you for free but i do enjoy myself a good meal and <laughs> If I'm going to be tasting and all of that, then let's do it, baby. Uh, so I'm going with the young one. And we're going to go have some fun. Hi, Diesel. Diesel just sent me a text. So what I've realized about my relationship with my sister recently is that as we've aged and become older, uh, become more sure of ourselves, what we like, uh, who we also want to hang around with and be around and all of that. My sister and I have started spending a lot of time together. A lot. <laughs> a lot of time together. Uh, I can safely say my sister and I spend a lot of money on food because we just indulge ourselves in, in breakfasts weekly. Uh, if we're not doing breakfast, we're doing lunch, whatever. Dinner sometimes, last week. Uh, for dinner, we popped out and went to Lupa. Uh, like I said, you probably you probably already know this by now. If you watch this channel a lot, you'll know that there's a Lupa here by me. Uh, that's literally like a minute away, and uh, we we meet there once at the very least once every two weeks, and then uh, we we have a dinner, we have a catch up, what's going on in life, work. Uh, relationships, that kind of thing. We just have a sisterly catch up, which is always just so much fun for me. Uh, my sister and I, our relationship has really grown leaps and bounds in the last, I'd like to say, year or so. I mean, we are sisters, and sisters have disagreements and all of that, but if I can tell you one thing for free, is that Naledi and I barely barely have any disagreements now we just get on we get on so i'm thankful uh over the weekend if you did catch any footage from before now uh over the weekend i went to i had sort of like a a date weekend it wasn't even a date date it was a date weekend with diesel uh so we went to culinary this weekend and that was just amazing the weather was so lovely and uh, I just woke up that morning and Diesel was like, what you want to do today? What you want to do today, baby? And I was just like, I don't know, just take me out on a date, okay? And he took me there and that was fun. We had a really great time. I met Lerato there. And Lerato is one of the, the subbies, which was nice. Met her. She was with her mans too. She was doing lunch with her mans. Hey, man, it. Uh, and then after that on the Sunday, I think uh, we we went out for a little bit. Uh, but we did the normal Sunday things, you know, we took our cars to the car wash and then we stepped out for a drink and some food and we went back home and it was just a really nice full weekend of Someone's at my gate. Oops. Hey guys, it's me, Kaya. So, I'm not. So, you're going to have to say what I'm going to say because I'll share it Oh you. my gosh, guys. So, <laughs> I'm just here to tell you some of my stuff. All my, I'm just going to come back. <laughs> I'm with your sister and we're here for the um, the cream dinner. We got invited yes. as sisters to eat the food that you guys pay for. Food. <laughs> 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 
This is why you should never take my lady seriously. On a job busy, you work about to buy jola. On a job busy, you tell it up, my lady. My lady, you tell it up. My lady, you call out to buy jola. Anyway, that's like a trade company. Let it get changed. Come on, it's about to, but to put some number two. Babona first. And Babona, what are you going to have? Anyway, we're here for the cream pairing uh, dinner and we're going to be trying out a four course meal, trying out some, some steak, some um, sole, and we're going to be pairing it with different types of uh, uh, beverages, alcoholic beverages, the ones that are not meant for, for children. Okay. This one, if if how na how na eating but if you are, then then we shall. Hey everybody, it's the it's two days later since the food pairing uh, evening that we went to with my sister at Cream. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, right now, I'm actually heading upstairs to pack because I think when I was doing my makeup uh, for that event, I, I talked a little bit about the fact that my sister and I are going to be in PE this weekend. We're going to be in Grahamstown and we are going for the Grahamstown National Arts Festival which is now known as the Makanda National Arts Festival and this is post name changes in the Eastern Cape uh, province in recent times. So we're going to the Makanda Arts Festival. Am I excited? Absolutely. So, so excited because since I was in varsity, I've always wanted to at once, at some point in my life, attend the National Arts Festival. And I can't tell you, I can't tell you. It looks like there's a great lineups in terms of music, in terms of comedy, in terms of theater productions. And uh, I was looking at it a little bit earlier on. I really, the headlining acts that I would really love to see is uh, Lady Scully, who does visual art, and Msaki, who does music. Of course, we all know Msaki. And uh, there's a couple of other theatre um, productions that I'd like to see. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Really, really excited. I'm going as my sister's plus one. Um, I don't know why she invited me along. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm her best friend now and whatever. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't know. But I'm really, really excited that she invited me to go along with her. So right now, I need to I have a couple of things that I need to do. Packing is one of them. So we're going to head upstairs and pack. I'm a terrible, terrible packer. Let me tell you. Short lifts are a problem for me when I have to pack because I overpack. I'm not a terrible packer. I'm actually very good at packing. However, I overpack because I never want to feel like I do not have enough clothes should the weather change. I, I, I'm i not happy with the outfits that I've packed or anything like that. So in my head right now, I don't have anything in my brain about what it is that I'm going to be um wearing this weekend no idea whatsoever and so, uh, i'm thankful really to my sister that she decided to bring me along on this trip it's really really exciting um but before we go up there you know what it is 
<laughs> so I received a package of books from Jonathan Ball Publishers this time around and I got three books. Really, really excited about one of them because I have got two of Jennifer Saint's books. This is her recent uh, novel publishing. Again, it is with regards to Greek mythology and this one is Atlanta. Now, I mean... I mean, do you see that cover? That's basically all I'm going to say. Um, so, uh, this is the mesmerizing story of the only female Argonaut told by Jennifer Saint, the best-selling author of Electra and Ariadne. When a daughter is born to the king of Arcadia, she brings only disappointment. Left exposed on a mountainside, the defenseless infant, Atalanta, not Atlanta, Atalanta, is left to the mercy of a passing mother bear and is raised alongside uh, the cubs under protective eye of goddess Artemis. Mowgli, anybody? Okay. Swearing that she will prove her worth alongside famed heroes of Greece, Atalanta leaves her forest to join Jason's band of Argonauts. But can she carve out her own place in the legends in a world made for men? Oh, God, that sounds amazing. Thank you very much to Jonathan Ball for that one. And look at this cover. Look, look, look. If the Red Bird Sings by Oyife Fitzpatrick. And I don't know anything about what it's about. It says, when Zona Hester dies, uh, only a few months after her wedding, her mother Mary Jane becomes convinced that the Zona was murdered by one by none other than Zona's husband, Trout, the handsome blacksmith beloved in their small southern town. But when Trout is put on trial, no one believes he could have done it, apart from Mary Jane and Zona's best friend, Lucy, who was always suspicious of Trout. As the trial raises fever pitch and the men of Green Bay County uh, stand al uh, aligned against them, Mary Jane and Lucy wrestle with whether to reveal Zona's bigger secret in order to see justice Served. What is Zona's secret then? But it's so for now, I'm going to head upstairs, finish off my coffee while I pack, and let's go see how we're going to sort out this packing situation for the next three days. Is the gist. I don't know. We're going to wing it, right? So the first thing is a pair of jeans. I was wearing these earlier on in the week. The first thing is a pair of jeans, black jeans. I was wearing these earlier on in the week. When I travel, I'm typically wearing track suits, so I'm gonna pull those out from the other bedroom. But uh, a pair of jeans is always a great way to go. So we're gonna pull out those black ones and maybe a blue pair as well. A pair of dark blue jeans. These are blue jeans, so... Uh, so there'll be three pairs of jeans. Already I'm set. I think at this point I just need um, tops. I need to consider top tops wise what I'm gonna wear. I was gonna pull in a dress there or two, but to be honest, I don't feel like wearing dresses. So far from finished, but the other section is just shoes, which there will only be two pairs of shoes and um, makeup, uh, underwear, cosmetics bag, all of that, which I'll finish off a little later this evening. Not a problem. My biggest issue was here. And this is what an overpacker looks like. Okay, in here, there's three pairs of jeans. There's uh, undergarments like vests and things like that because it's winter, it's cold here. Um, we've also got a pair of leggings in here. There's a sweater in here, a white sweater in here because, yes, a good one is Rami. I mean, come on. So that's pretty much it. My clothes are done. I need to pack my accessories. Now, because I don't know much, this is not a trip that was, was organized by me. So I tend to get very antsy by carrying a, like very fancy things in a nutshell. So the glasses that I'm going to be taking are these ones, which are crazy cool. I absolutely love them. They're from H&M. Uh, these are from Aldo. And I'm thinking of wearing these with the ripped jeans and the stockings underneath with a 
uh, turtleneck, black turtleneck. Nice, nice. What am I going to wear on top of that black turtleneck? Whatever, man. And then uh, these. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. So now I think the only issue is ah, the stuff. Figuring out my accessories. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Love that we make, it's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love 